whenever I had my old hearing aids, and this is actually kind of embarrassing, but um, girls would come up and talk to me, and I would have to fake like I could hear them. And that is embarrassing to have to fake like you hear the girl that you are so interested in, you know. But now, you know, they can hear it come up to me, and I can to actually be able to hear what they're saying to me, you know, it's enabled me to be able to actually have a relationship, you know, with another girl. She used to have phone conversations with her grandmother and couldn't be understood. But in the last two months with these new aides, it's been a lot of fun um, for her to tell her grandmother about her day over the phone. Before she was leaving off the ends of words, she was leaving out words and sentences, or even the word order of her sentences was not correct. And we switched over to the Naida hearing aids, and it's the most significant progress that I have seen in a child's expressive language. I couldn't hear the coaches, so they had to yell at me. He's pretty involved in sports, and he loves baseball, and he... I always wondered how much he missed out on the field, you know, what the coaches would say, and they wear their helmets, and this was the first year he got to wear his hearing aids, and I think it opened up quite a bit for him. I'm so pleased. I didn't realize what he was missing until, you know, things changed. Um, I'm a speech-language pathologist, and I had the privilege of collecting the speech and language data. And it was pretty amazing what we found, because kids really talk like they hear. And now, once they had access to all the full sounds of speech, that began to become reflected in their speech and their articulation of sounds. The other thing that was quite surprising, though, that we found in the study is that the liquids, or the R's and the L's of sound production, improved spontaneously in children after wearing the hearing aids. And that was really a wonderful surprise to see that the articulation cleared up like it did with wearing the hearing aids after a short amount of time. So kids really do talk just like they hear. Many contemporary digital hearing aids uh, claim that they now have receivers or the capability to amplify sounds out to 10,000 hertz, and that probably is true for the receiver or the, the speaker in the hearing aid. Uh, but unfortunately, especially when we work with children, um, that sound, that amplified sound, has to leave the receiver at the top of a behind-the-ear hearing aid and travel through the tubing in the ear mold before it gets to the eardrum. And as it makes uh, that, that trip down to the eardrum, those high-frequency sounds above 4,000 hertz really roll off. Uh, they're really reduced or attenuated. So by the time they arrive at the eardrum, it's less likely that they'll be audible for the child. I have no reservations on fitting sound recover on infants. Um, I uh, have routinely fitted sound recover on, on very young children, infants and toddlers, uh, with great success. Both my research experiences and my clinical experiences have led me to believe that hearing aids with frequency lowering technology should be considered as a standard for all children with hearing loss, regardless of degree of hearing loss.